Johnny the Great Hearted. Green, white, and two, five loyalty. Creatures you control vigilance, plus one is gain three life. Minus two, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control and a loyalty counter on each other planeswalker you control. This does not seem good in Constructed, honestly. Uh, except for maybe top-end sideboard for uh, like the green-white decks. I'm going to give it a 2, maybe a 2.5, just because of the green-white tokens deck that exists. But the plus one is like super irrelevant a lot of the time, it feels like. Unless you're going versus another aggro deck, in which case, but I'm going to give it a 2.5, but I think it's mainly for the sideboard or maybe like a 1 or 2 of in the main. Uh, limited? Limited, this thing is annoying as hell. I think I'm happy to give it a 3. It's starting with 5 loyalty is stupid. Gaining 3 life is kind of stupid every turn. And also being able to permanently buff all of your creatures in a set with proliferate ugh maybe this is a 3.5 but the, the 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 double color makes it uh, a little bit awkward but yeah i could see this being a 3.5 limited this will be super annoying to play against Ingrath's Rampage, black red, choose one, target player sacrifices an artifact, target player sacrifices a creature, target player sacrifices a planeswalker. Is this constructed viable? This might be, huh? I'm gonna give this a 1.5 for now, maybe a two. I think this is constructed viable for sure. For limited, I don't think it's as good, but the, the nice thing is that it can hit the planeswalkers even if your opponent does have a creature. I think this is probably maybe a 2 and a 2 point... Well, it could just be a 2 and a 2. Hmm. Yeah, I think the constructed rating could be a little bit higher. I think the limited, I'm happy giving it a 2. Grixis has a way to deal with enchantments now. This doesn't deal with enchantments. <laughs> Yeah, I'm happy giving it a 2.5 in Constructed. <laughs> anyway, Bio Essence Hydra. <laughs> uh, green, blue, 3, 4, 4, Trample. Enters the battlefield with 1-1 one, one counter on it for each loyalty counter on Planeswalkers you control. Whenever one or more loyalty counters are put on Planeswalkers you control, put that many 1-1 counters on this card. Is this constructed playable? What blue-green deck would want this? I don't think this is good enough for constructed, honestly. I'm going to give it a 1, based on the fact that maybe it, it has like a small fringe playability, but it seems bad. In limited, however... It is a 5-mana 4-4 four, four Trampler. Uh, and it can get better? I'm going to give this like a 2.5, maybe a 3. This is not a bomb in, a, in Limited. I don't think so, anyways. You have to have... You have to have Planeswalkers, which is not super hard in the Limited format. Um... But the Planeswalkers have to be alive, you have to draw them, you have to cast this afterwards. I don't know. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm comfortable giving it a 3.5. I think a 3 is fair for uh, for limited rather. All right. This has a lot of different text. Two, black, black, green, green. Choose one or more. Destroy target effect, destroy target creature, destroy target enchantment, destroy target land, destroy target planeswalker. Wow, that's got a lot of stuff on it. This would be a very good constructed card uh, if it could find a good home. I know Golgari is already a thing, and so is Soul Tie, but it's a little bit expensive. 
I think I'm okay giving it a three in constructed. I don't think it's like broken or anything. In limited, however, if you can cast this, let's sink. You're probably killing a land, you're probably killing a creature. Sometimes you're gonna kill a planeswalker, an enchantment, and an artifact. It's very expensive, but again, it's very good. Six mana two for one in limited is good though. I'm happy to give it a three and a three across the board. I'm happy to give it three and three. Cruel Celebrant, black, white, one, two. Whenever another creature or planeswalker you control dies or itself, each player, or sorry, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So people are going to try to make this a thing in um, Constructed. I'm going to give it a 2.5. Uh, it would be cool if some Aristocrats decks uh, became a thing, but a 1-2 two for 2 is not really what you want. But, I mean, Blood Artist was played, for example, so we'll see about this. Um, as far as limit is concerned, similarly, I don't think it's going to be great in limited. It's going to be annoying for your opponent, but it's not going to be super relevant most of the time. I could see even giving this a 1.5 in, uh, in uh, limited. I think my 2.5 is probably a lot too high, or much too high as well. 2.2 two, and that might be too high. Death Sprout, black, black, green, and a one. Destroy target creature, search your library for a basic land card, put on the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. This is a good card. I want this to find a home in Constructed. And for limited, this is like a solid, what, three? Just because the mana requirement is gross. Very good art, for sure. <laughs> D-Spark, black, white, exile target permanent with converted mana cost four or greater. Instant. Three. Three and a three. This is a good card. Yeah, it could be a 3.5 in both. Mm, no, I think a 3.5 removal spell unlimited it would have to be a little bit less prohibitive. But I like it in Constructed. So I'm going to go 3.5 and a 3. Domri, Anarch, excuse me, a Bolas. Three mana, three loyalty. Creatures you control get plus one plus zero. As the static, plus one add green or red. Creature spells you cast this turn can't be countered. Minus two target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. This is gonna see some constructed play. That can't be countered clause is a real good. It's a three mana walker as well. I'm gonna give him a three here. Uh, how good is he in limited? Well, he's very annoying, that's for sure. He ramps, he gives your creatures a decent static. And the fight ability is also pretty good. I guess I'm gonna give it a three and a three. It does seem slightly better in Limited than in Constructed, you're right, because of Rhythm of the Wild, but this is fine. Domri's Ambush, Green Red Sorcery. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control, then that creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or Planeswalker you don't control. Oh, man, I want to give this like a 3.5 or a 3. I don't think it's very good in Constructed. 
God, the sorcery speed just makes me cry. Although I, I do think people are going to run this in their constructed decks. You know what? Because it hits the Planeswalkers, I think I'm actually going to give it a 2. Um, if I didn't give Death Sprout a 3.5, I don't think I can give Domri's Ambush a 3.5 in Limited. Oh, that's true too. People just use Thrash Threat. Okay, maybe this is actually like jank poop. I'm happy to give it a 3 unlimited though. Dovin's Veto. This spell can't be countered. Counter target non creature spell. Alright, well, this is like a 1 in limited sideboard card, but constructed, this is pretty nice, eh? Was this a 3? Maybe a 3.5? This is going to make the control matchups a lot more interesting. This is a good one. It's very hard to give a card a 5. What? This is, this is no way a 5. What the heck? If this was literal counter spell, maybe I would give it a 5 for constructed. <laughs> It, this is definitely not a 5. <laughs> I wouldn't even give Counterspell a 5, for the record. I'm thinking a 3.5 and a 1.5. I don't know if I've given any card over a, a 4 for Constructed yet, but... Dreadhorde Butcher. Black, red, 1-1 one, one haste. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, Planeswalker put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. When it dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. Oh, baby. I'm liking this one. I think this could be a, a pretty decent card in Constructed. The fact that it has high upside when it dies, too, just makes this so much more different than other cards of this type that we've seen before. No, I don't... This is so bad later in the game, I feel like, for limited, that I'd be hard-pressed to give it higher than a 3. You need to have it, like, exactly on turn 2 or with a ton of tricks. So, uh, this 3 is a... 3 is a huge stretch. This is definitely more of a... more of a uh, constructed card, I feel like, than a limited card, for sure. And again, 2.5 is still a stretch, but potential is there for Constructed for sure. Elite Guard Mage, 2, 3, for 4, flying, enters the battlefield, you gain 3 life, and draw a card. That's pretty good. Could we even see this in Constructed? Probably not so much. I'm going to give it a 2 in Constructed, though. But that is a really nice limited card for sure. I'm going to give it up like a 3 or a 3.5. This is just value. 2 power flyer for 4. Gain 3 life draw card. That is, that is a nice limited card for sure. Alright. Enter the God Eternals. 2 blue blue black sorcery. Deals 4 damage to target creature, and you gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. Target player puts the top 4 cards of their library into their graveyard. Amass 4. What the fu is this card? This is probably constructed playable too, right? Maybe this is way too high for constructed. I don't know... Well, a lot of these cards I only saw once, or I haven't seen them yet until <laughs> I'm doing this review. Yeah, maybe the 4 constructed rating is a little bit too high, but limited, this is an all-star. 
Five mana, deal four damage to a creature, gain four life. Mill four, probably not super relevant, but then get a four four? Yikes. This is, this is, yeah. Played this card a lot. Would recommend playing that card a lot. Feather the Redeemed. Red, white, white, flying, 3, 4. Whenever you cast an inner sorcer instant or sorcery spell that targets a creature you control, exile that card instead of putting it into your graveyard as it resolves. If you do, return it to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. Alright, well this has a lot of constructed viability. And it's just a 3, 4 flyer. As just a 3-4 flyer for 3 and limited, it's pretty good. Um, I don't think you're gonna, probably going to be able to build around this too often, or rather you don't want to run too many tricks in limited. Uh, but I don't know, man. I don't want to give this in four. I don't want to give this a 4 and constructed. I don't think I want to give this a 4. I think I'm happy just giving it a 3 and a 3.5. Gleaming Overseer. 1-4 for 1 blue-black. When it enters the battlefield, the mass 1. Zombie tokens you control have Hexproof and Menace. I could randomly see this in some sideboards. No joke. This is a weird card in Limited. I think it's actually good. I don't know how good. I don't think it's better than a 3. But the Hexproof is kind of nice. Because the, the Amass components, or the Amass ability is, is kind of weird. You end up having to go all in on one creature, and so giving them Hexproof is really good. Like, a mass is a little bit weak to single creature removal, so giving it hexproof I think is nice. What does it take to get a 4 or 5? Uh, be a god eternal. Heartwarming Redemption. Kithian had known war every day of his life. Now he finally knew peace. Discard all the cards in your hand, then draw that many cards plus one. You gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand. I don't think this is too good. I don't even know if this is constructed playable. I don't think it is. In limited? This is like a 1.5 in limited. I think it's better than a 1, but I don't think it's very good. Don't think this is very good. Hotly's Raptor, green white, 2 3 vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, proliferate. That's interesting. That's. That almost seems like constructed quality. Almost. I want to give it higher than a 1 because I think it might be... Might just be good enough for constructed. Um, and certainly playable in limited to some extent. I don't know if I want to give it a 3 or a 2.5. I think 3 is probably the top end of where I want to give it for limited. Mm, I think I'd rather give it a 2.5. I think I feel better about giving it a 2.5. Decent, though. Certainly decent for 2 mana. Invade the city. 1 blue, red, sorcery. A max... <laughs> a max. A mass X, where X is the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. This feels like it wants to be in Constructed but it's probably not good in Constructed. I feel like this is more a Constructed card than a Limited card. And it's not very good.
yeah, I just don't think this is good enough. Leyline Prowler, black, green, and one. Two, three, death touch, lifelink, add one man of any color. Sign me up. I'm giving that a three in limited at least. And maybe like a 1.5 here. Maybe, maybe it's like a 3.5 in limited. This card is nice. Two, three, death touch, lifelink. It's like a vampire nighthawk. Wait, no, no, no. It's like a uh, vampire bop hawk. No. What's a, what's a better name? Somebody think of a better name for it. <laughs> Nighthawk of Paradise? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> uh, Rampire Nighthawk. There we go. <laughs> this card's good. I like it. <laughs> carry and carry added. All right. These are some good ones. Anyways. I like this card in limited. It seems pretty nice. Very good three drop. Um, you know, it's relevant throughout the entirety of a game, usually unless they have some big uh, first striker or something. But nice, not bad. Living Twister, red, red, green, elemental two five, one and a red. Discard a land card. Deals two damage to any target. Pay a green. Return a tapped land you control to its owner's hand. My God, this thing is a beast. This is at least a four in limited. Is this constructed viable though? I'm not sure about the constructed viability of this card. Will somebody play this in standard? I don't know. It, it seems like the ability is the abilities are strong enough. Okay, I'm fine giving it a 2. Really? You think limited 4 is way too high? This card will end games. I'm giving this a 4 in limited. I'm giving this a 4 in limited. I think 2 and 4 is fine. Mayhem Devil, one black red, three three. Whenever a player sacrifices a permanent, Mayhem Devil deals one damage to any target. So this goes into like the Aristocrats deck. So this is the constructed card. Mm, this card is kind of jank. And it's like a two in limited. It's a three three for three in limited. Yeah, it's a two and a two for me. It's a two and a two. Merfolk Skydiver, green, blue, one one flyer. When it enters the battlefield, put a one one target on, put a one one counter on target creature you control, and then five mana proliferate. Whoa, whoa! This is like a limited three point five, or maybe even a four. This card's nice. It's like a two two flyer by itself if you need it to be. And then the proliferate's kind of insane late game. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a 3.5 in limited. This card's good. Does it all. Does it all. Not bad. Neoform, green blue, sorcery, sacrifice and a sacrifice a creature as an additional cost. Search your level for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to one plus the sacrifice creatures. Converted mana cost, put that card on the battlefield with an additional plus one. Okay, so this is like a constructed card. Somebody's gonna try to break this, right? I actually think this might not be terrible and limited. I kind of want to give it a 2.5 across the board. I wish. I just feel like in Constructed this is never going to be used though. 
I feel like I want this to be good in limited, but then in constructed, it's actually just never going to be played. Yeah, also sorcery. I think the safest bet is just to give it like a one <laughs> and a one. <laughs> that's the safe that's a safe play. Give it a one and a one and see if somebody breaks it. Alright. Nickel Bolas Dragon God. Blue, black, 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 red. This has a lot of abilities. That mana cost is yikes. That mana cost is yikes. So you draw a card. Each opponent exiles a card from their hand or permanent they control. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Each opponent doesn't control a legendary creature or planeswalker it loses the game. <laughs> Ugh. I'm going to give this a 3-5 in Constructed. No, you're right. It should be probably a little bit higher. I, I don't want to give it a 4-5 though. And I'm certainly not giving it a 5. I agree. I think this is going to see a ton of play in Constructed. Oh, the mana requirement is just so hard and limited. But we have, some, we have seen some decent fixing. It's still very good, though. Well, I imagine you're probably casting this later than turn 7. If we were just basing it on the abilities, it'd be higher, but you have to take everything into consideration, I think. I think I'm going to give it a 4 and a 3. Niv Misery Reborn. Man, what are these freaking... Alright, Wooburg 6-6 six, six Flyer. When it enters the battlefield, reveal the top 10 cards of... If I'm being completely honest here, this is like... <laughs> uh... Sorry, Niv. Uh... I don't even care about his biceps. <laughs> He's Wooberg. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just go to the next one. Oath of Kaya. One white, black. Enters the battlefield. Just three damage to any target. You gain three life. Okay. You have my attention. Whenever an opponent attacks a planeswalker you control with one or more creatures, Oath of Kaya deals two damage to that player and you gain two life. Interesting. That's an interesting constructed card. That's certainly good enough for Constructed. And even it, even if it didn't have any secondary text in Limited, that would be pretty solid. I think it's better than a 2 in Constructed. I think I'm going to give it a 3 in Constructed.
I think it's yeah, I think it's probably just a three and limited as well as a good removal spell. It's a good card. Yeah, I like I like three three here. Pledge of Unity, green, white, and one. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. You gain one life for each creature you control. Oh, it's an instant, too. Interesting. Hmm. Well, in Constructed, this would only be played in, like, the green-white deck, right? So it's probably not very good in Constructed, except for maybe one deck. And, no, you know what? They'd rather just run Unbreakable Formation anyways. No, this is this is like a bad constructed card. It's worse than unbreakable. Uh limited though. Limited I can get behind this. This is a pretty nice combat trick in limited. I don't think I'm gonna go on a three, but it's better than a two. Hmm. Plus, again, proliferate. It's true, unbreakable formation is sorcery speed sometimes. But in a lot of cases, that doesn't even matter, right? The fact that it's versatile in that you can protect against a sweeper or whatever. All right, Ral Storm Conduit, two blue, red, four mat, or sorry, four loyalty. This is the combo piece, right? This is the ultimate, uh, or the infinite combo with the expansion, explosion, and one other card. Two expansion explosions and one other card. This is what everybody was talking about. How good is he in limited? Seems pretty bad in limited, honestly, but it's still a walker. And the scry two is, sorry, the scry one is fine. I'm gonna give him a 1.5 in limited. What does that deck look like, though? How good is Ral in that deck outside of the combo? That's the question. People are certainly going to build around it, so I'm just going to give it a four. We already know there's an infinite combo with it, and that's good enough. If Sahili Rai plus Felidar Guardian was good enough, I'm going to give him a four. I'm gonna give him a four. Ral's Outburst, two a blue and a red. Instant deals three damage to any target. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand and the other in your graveyard. Huh, that's probably constructed playable in some capacity. And that's just a really solid removal spell in a limited. Might go with a two though. I, the, the mana cost is awkward. In constructed, but it is an instant. But yeah, just a very good limited card. For sure. It probably is too expensive for constructed, but. Eh, I'll leave it open. Limited, I'm happy to give it a 3.5. Roalesque Apex Hybrid, two green, green, blue, four, five, flying trample. When it enters the battlefield, put two one one counters on another target creature you control. When it dies, proliferate, then proliferate again. What the heck? Human Mutant. What part of the storyline is this creature? What the heck? No, I think it is a 4.5 in Limited. It might be like a 4.25 as... Because it's a little... I think it's a little bit worse than... Lily and the uh, God Eternals, but... I'm trying to think of a constructed deck that's going to play this. I think it is going to be played. Wait, did, did I give that previous card? Yeah, I gave that previous card a 2, didn't I? So this is probably higher than a 2.
All right, I'm going to try giving it a three. I think if anything truly got a five, I would give it a five. But I don't think there has been a true five yet. Blue, blue, red, roll reversal. Exchange control of two target permanents that share a creature type. Sorry, permanent type, that's what I meant. Two target permanents that share a permanent type, sorry. I don't think this is good. <laughs> it's, I think it's okay and limited to like as a switcher, hard to cast su switcheroo, but even switcheroo wasn't like amazing. If anything, it's going to be a sideboard card, right? So I think I'm going to give it a 1.5 constructed for sideboard. And it's like a 2.5 to turn your worst creature into their best creature, so. That's, that's my rating. Rubble Belt, Rioters, 04 Haste. Whenever it attacks, it gets plus X plus O into under turn where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. What the heck is this card? <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to give this. Either a 1.5 or a 2 tops. Really? You think a 3 in limited? I get, I mean, maybe. It's so bad defensively. I'm, I'm, I'm giving it a two. I do not think it's a three. System is broken, break the system. Solar Blaze. Each creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. I don't remember how many creatures in this format have bigger butts than power. Some amount do. I mean, this is going to be both played in constructed but it doesn't seem that good. <laughs> the 04 counters this card. I don't know if I like this card in Constructed. I'm gonna give it a 1.5 here. primary weapon is nothing more than light. It shows them what they are, and they burn of their own accord. I feel like this card is not good. I don't think it's a 3.5 or a 4 in limited, honestly. I'm putting it as a 1.5 for constructed because it's sideboard. I feel like I'm going to give it a 2. Y'all can play it at the pre-release if you want. I'm not liking it. Not liking it. Soren Vengeful Bloodlord. Two black, white, four... Loyalty. As long as it's your turn, creatures and planeswalkers you control. Lifelink Soren deals one damage target player or planeswalker minus X. Return target creature card with converted mana cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature is a vampire in addition to its other types.
One damage to target player or planes rocket return. I don't think this is good enough for constructed. It's not like the old sworn that could also ping creatures. I'm gonna give it a low rating and construct it, I think. And again, this does not seem... Well, it does go up by two each time. I don't think it's actually that bad and limited. I'm either gonna give it a three or a 3.5. Just because he upticks very quickly, and you can return and get some value that way. Like, in limited, this is going to make it very hard for your opponent to erase you or even just kill you. Like, he's going to start pinging for one and gaining a life. Your creatures have lifelink. I think I'm fine giving him a 3.5 in limited. No, 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 that's, he doesn't gain an extra loyalty because he has lifelink, that doesn't, I don't think that's how it works, or I would be very, very surprised if it is. <clears throat> Alright, 2-3 for 2, remove a counter from an artifact creature to land, or planeswalker you control, draw a card. Well, this is a rare? Remove a counter from a counter, remove a counter from an artifact creature to land, or planeswalker. I don't think this is going to see any constructed play. Remove a counter from our... Maybe it will? I don't know. Although... This plus treasure map is cute. I don't know. It seems like it needs a lot of setup. <laughs> Dark Depths! Uh... No, I'm not saying there aren't any cards that it's good with. There are a ton of cards it is good with. This card has potential, though. I yeah, two, three body for two and constructed is whatever. I'm gonna give it a two. Somebody can prove me wrong and put this in some deck or some deck can start doing well, but I don't think this is going to be like the nuts constructed card. For limited, yeah, it's a two, three for two. Predominantly, you'd be removing counters from a planeswalker with this ability. So maybe it's like a 2.5. Oh, ah, 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 ah. There we go. Or with your mass zombies, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're plus one, plus one counters. That's fair. Okay. No, I'm down with that. <laughs> ratings out of five should say ratings out of three point five. You know how so good something has to be to actually surpass that? It has to be absurd. Like this card, this seems like a 4 in limited, right? This is very good. At least a 4, it might be a 4.5. Imagine Kenji grading your papers. Constructed, I'm not so huge on this, but it is still beefy for four mana. I kind of want to try this card in Constructed. It's minimum a four and limited. It, it might be a 4.5. 
It's like in between the two. I mean, this doesn't have an ability immediately when, to net, when it enters, and it is susceptible to removal as such, but... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give it a 4. 2.5 and a 4. Nice card. Tamio, Collector of Tales, 2 green blue, 5 loyalty. Spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause you to discard cards or sacrifice permanents, whatever. Because Cranko is a 1 2 on the base of it, and that card is a 4 mana 5 4 trampler. Uh, plus one, choose a non-land card name, then reveal the top four cards you like. Pearl cards with a chosen name from among them into your hand, and the rest in your graveyard. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. This seems real bad in construct. Or sorry, in limited. I'm gonna give this like a 1.5 in limited. Constructed, I can see this having a little more play. But even still, I don't see her being very good. I, I don't like this card. I'm giving it a 2 and a 1.5 and I'm sticking with it. Teferi Time Raveler. One white, blue, four loyalty. Each opponent can cast spells only any time they could cast a sorcery. Oh, God. Until your next turn, you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. Return up to one target artifact, creature, or enchantment to its owner hand. Draw a card. This card is busted, dude. Maybe 4.5 is a little too high. It... It's very good. Limited? I think it's still fine in limited, of course. Because the bounce a creature draw a card is still fine enough. And it comes down on turn three. I think I'm just going to give it a three in limited, though. <laughs> Let's slow this down. It, it's not like busted in limited, but it's still good. Hold that thought. Yeah, I just don't see the static or the plus one being all super relevant in limited. But the bounce is still nice, and if you do get to potentially get him up to range to do it again on the minus three, then that's good. Yep, card is probably the best constructed card we've seen so far, huh? 10th District Legionnaire, 2 2 haste for 2. Whenever you cast a spell that targets 10th District Legionnaire, put a 1 1 counter on it and then scry 2. Hey! I guess they have multiple cards with actual heroic in the format, huh? Will people be trying to play this in Constructed? I don't know if there's a red white aggro deck that wants to run too many targeted effects, though, is the only problem. I mean, yeah, 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 with Feather, I, people are going to try, I just don't know how good it's going to be. Like, I'm fine giving it a 2.5 just because of the Feather deck, but I don't know if that deck's going to be the real deal. Oh, the Slapcaster Mage, you're right, you're right, you're right. How good is this in Limited? It's just as a baseline 2-2 two, two, haste for 2, but it's hard to cast. Yeah, I think this is, I think in Limited especially, you're not going to have that many ways to target it. And you don't really want to build your deck around it, so. The nice thing is, is that it's the threat of activation, you know. 
more than anything else. But yeah, we'll see that card constructed. Time wipe. Two white, white, blue. Return a creature you control to its owner's hand and destroy all creatures. Oh, goody. Wow, that's busted. Can I give that a 4.5 in limited? It's almost like Dune Blast. Jesus. <laughs> I think I have to give it a 4.5. It's nearly impossible for me to give a five. Now the question is how good is this in constructed? It's probably similarly rated. Yeah, it is harder to cast Cleansing Nova. That's fair. That's fair. I guess the bounce upside of Construct is not as relevant. Okay, I'm sold. Return a creature you control to its owner's hands. Yes, because you don't need to have you don't need to have the creature. Man, that card's busted for limited. Tulsimir, friend of wolves, two green, green, white, three, three. When it enters the battlefield, create Voha. Voja? I don't know how to pronounce that. Friend of wolves. Dang, that card's busted too. This is that's much better than a three five. This is this is six power and toughness for five mana. Plus you get to kill something potentially that has that's like a two power. Boya. Yeah. Also, you gain three life. I don't know if this is going to be all that good in Constructed, unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe not, but it's very good in Limited. Alright, I could be convinced it's a 4. Yeah, that creature. That's fine. You don't have to fight something. If your opponent only has a 5-5 five, five on the battlefield, you don't have to throw away your creature. Tyrant's Scorn. Blue, black, destroy, or choose one. Destroy target creature with convert mask, 3 less. Return target creature to its owner's hand. That's pretty good. It's just solid on both accounts, it feels like. It's like Smother and... Huh. Turn over just on his hand. Start to reach on All right. I think I'm going to give that a 3 in Constructed. 
Seems like we're getting a lot of good Esper cards. How good is this in limited? It's probably just the same, honestly, although it's versatile. But I think I'm just gonna give it a three and a three. No, probably wouldn't still play this over cast down. <laughs> Destroy target army twice. What the heck is this? Widespread brutality. Red, red, black, one. Amass two, then the army you amass deals damage equal to its power to each non-army creature. Oh, weird. Wow, that could be really, really good in limited. I don't think this is going to be great in constructed. Although it's still probably a fine sideboard card a lot of the time. Interesting. It can be a limited board wipe. No, it's not a 4.5 in limited. I don't even think it's a 4. It might be a 3.5 though. It, it requires a little bit of work is the problem. And oftentimes, if you just don't even have another army to uh, amass onto, you're not going to kill enough or anything. I think I'm going to go with this. Angrath, Captain of Chaos. Wait, how did we not start on Angrath? Shouldn't he have been like the first multicolored card? Creatures you control have menace, minus two, amass two. Oh, hybrid, that's why you're right. This is pretty good, I feel. In uh, limited, anyways. I think I'm comfortable giving him a three. Constructed, I do not think this is going to see any play. Yeah, this just seems way too bad for constructed. I don't know if it's a 3.5 or even a 4, no. Doesn't seem all that good, honestly. Ashiok Dream Render. Spells and abilities your opponents control can't cause their controller to search their library. Target player puts the top four cards of the library into their graveyard, then exile each of... Starts at five and it's a minus one? This card is kind of gross. I think I'm gonna give it a four for limited. Is this... Constructed playable. It might actually be constructed playable too. Eh, four is maybe too high. I'll go with 3.5. I kind of like this in constructed, man. Maybe that's not enough. Yeah, but if you have Proliferate, you can... Well, I, I wouldn't say easily, but... You can end up milling your opponent. Ah. Okay, you know what? This is probably like a 2.5 or a 3. I don't know how to rate this for Constructed. For Constructed, I'm more talking about Standard than anything, but... I might give it like a 2 or a 2.5. This and Kaya lets Kaya ult actually kill people. Kaya ult kills people, though. You just protect the Kaya. Dovin Hand of Control, until your next turn, prevent all damage that we've dealt to you and dealt by target a permanent and opponent controls. Artifact instant and sorcery spells your opponent's cast, cost one more to cast. Until your next turn, prevent all damage that we've dealt to and dealt by target permanent and opponent controls. I think that ability is probably better than you would initially expect.
but it still doesn't seem very good. I'm going to give it a 2.5. It turns off a creature for, or it turns off X number of creatures for quite a few turns. I don't think it's, I don't think it's going to be constructed playable, right? Two point five might be generous, but Quatly the Sun's Heart. Seven loyalty three drop? What? I have not seen this card yet. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Minus three, you gain life equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control. Oh. Wow, that card's real bad, isn't it? I'm hoping somebody makes some sweet constructed deck with it. I mean, this is, this feels like a constructed card, but <laughs> in reality, it's probably just another 1-1. One, one. <laughs> uh, and that's generous. It's probably closer to this. <laughs> Poor Hlotli. <laughs> That might be our first 0.5.5. Kaya <laughs> uh. Bane of the Dead. Another seven? Jesus. Exile target creature? Your opponent's in permanence, your opponent's control with hexproof can't, or can be the target of spells and abilities you control as though they didn't have hexproof. Okay, I see. Six mana. Well, I think this is poop and constructed. It's so slow. Six mana, maybe exile two creatures. It's going to be six mana exile one creature for sure. And then the question is, can she, can she survive to do it again? She's like a three. She can kill Carnage Tyrant. I'm not paying. I'm not playing this Kaya in my. I maybe my sideboard. This is no way a limited bomb. No way. I can see a 3.5. I mean, it is good removal. You just need to protect her a bit. All right, I, I think 3.5 is my top end for her. And that's generous. Cura, Behemoth, Beckoner. Another seven loyalty three drop, what the heck? Untap target permanent. Whenever a creature with power four grade enters the battlefield, you can draw, draw a card. It's kind of rampy, I guess. This is, I think I'm going to give her a 2.5 in limited, maybe a 3. Maybe a 3. She's probably better than average, but not like tremendously so. But 3 mana for 7 loyalty is huge. Huge! This is way better than Kaya? I don't think so. <laughs> because your, your rankings only make sense if you never play creature decks. I think I play creature decks all the time. Hands down a four? I don't think so.
I don't think so. And in Constructed, I can't really see her doing anything. I'm giving her a 3, and I'm sticking to it. Nahiri Storm of Stone. 6 loyalty, 4 mana. As long as your turn, creatures you control have first strike and equip abilities you activate cost one less to activate minus x deals x damage to target tapped creature this seems like a terrible constructed card what did i give kiora a three because i think this is better than kiora I feel like this is a 3.25. I'm 3.25 at reviews. <laughs> These are my personal opinions. You don't have to agree with them. <laughs> In fact, it's good that you disagree. Then we can start some discussion and maybe people can uh, change their minds. All right, Sahili, Sublime Artificer. Artificer, Art Artificer. Yes, five loyalty, three mana. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create a one-one color servo artifact creature token. Minus two, target artifact you control becomes a copy of another target artifact or creature you control in turn. Except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. Hmm. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create. This seems a lot better in constructed to me. How good is this in constructed though? I'm gonna give this a four, three, three. This card feels like it could be Dece. Limited, man, again, how many non-creature spells are you gonna be running in total? I assume with planeswalkers, the amount of planeswalkers in this format, you can run fewer creatures than you normally would. Say you run like 12 to 16 creatures on average. You can probably get some value out of Sahili in limited. Right, but I don't think Sahili is useful for her minus two. I think her she's useful for her static of just getting random one ones. Samit Tyrant Smasher, five loyalty, four mana. Creatures you control have create haste. Minus two, target creature gets plus two plus one and gains haste until end of turn. Scry one. I like this card. This is this is nice and limited, I feel like. Maybe I overrate it, but I'm a big fan of haste. I'll give it a 3.5 and limited. Constructed, I don't really think this is useful. So the reason it gives haste is because if the last loyalty you use to give a creature haste... Oh wait, no, that doesn't make sense, does it? They had some reasoning. I don't remember exactly what it was that some of these planeswalkers seem to give redundant ability. Oh, I did have it right. Okay, perfect. Gotcha. Okay. Vraska Swarms Eminence, 5 loyalty, 4 mana. Whenever a creature you control 
with death, death touch deals damage to a player or planeswalker put one more counter on that creature create a 1-1 one, one black assassin creature token with death touch and whenever this creature deals damage to a planeswalker destroy that planeswalker this seems awful in constructed how good is that in limited though Honestly, I don't know. I don't think it's much better than like a three in limited. There's no way she's even close to a four in limited. No way. She does protect herself very well, but I think a three is quite safe. Tezzeret, Master of the Bridge. Four blue black, five loyalty. Creature and Planeswalker spells you cast have affinity for artifacts. Basically irrelevant in limited. Plus two deals X damage to each opponent, where X is the number of artifacts you... Okay, so this is just basically a constructed card. This is like a zero in limited. If I could do zeros. Oh, this is a buy a box. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I guess it's not even unlimited. There you go. Wait, why? Why was this in my? Why was this in my set review? Honestly, this seems terrible and constructed too. All right, Tezzeret doesn't get a rating. <laughs> and we're done with the multicolor cards.